Oh. Alright, how the hell are you? Alright, so had a little time off a of load, so I decided I'd show y'all how to run a carrier reefer unit. Um, you got two types of reefer units usually, it's carriers and thermo kings. Most of my fleet is carriers, but if I get a hold of one of the thermo kings we have in there, I'll show y'all how to run that one too. Anyway, without further ado. Alrighty, so, got your controls right here. Uh, first is the obvious one, you just flip her on to on. This one part takes a couple seconds. Alright, there we go, there's the controls. Okay. Uh, just gonna do a little self test. Alright, here we have, that's your set temperature. That's your box temperature. Uh, this thing's been sitting all day empty, so right now it's pretty hot. Anyway, so I got a pre cool to minus 10, so what you do there, uh, you got your down arrow, up arrow, use those to switch temperatures. So I'm gonna hit down. You're on negative 10. On a carrier, you got an equal sign. Make sure you hit the equals to set it, or your temperature is gonna go back to whatever it was before. And that's how you set it. Then you got the options you got start stop and continuous right now it's on continuous if you want to switch that you got a little button right here start stop continuous just hit it it swaps it between the two so now she's on start stop i'm gonna leave it there that way it doesn't run all night uh just continuously and waste all the fuel um and after that you just give it a few minutes or seconds whatever side window uh, I mean not the driver's side window I mean you can see it through the mirror while you're driving down the road uh, just watch for it to turn to orange if you see it turn to orange that means it's got an alarm uh, like for example earlier not this trailer but the one I had before it it was going to orange and it had a low refrigerant level so I had to stop at a carrier dealer and get it charged after talking to the company and finding out what to do about it anyway uh, there's a little more, there's some more preventative maintenance you can do on the units manually. Uh, sometimes you may have to put it into a manual defrost. Uh, that one's not to totally hard. There was a red button on there. It said, or not the red button, the red button was alarms, but uh, there was a button on there that said manual defrost. If you have to do manual defrost, all you do is hit that button. It, runs it into defrost. If you're curious as to what it has to defrost, uh, the coils inside the trailer, inside the unit, will sometimes build up on ice, and the reefer's designed to heat itself up to melt that ice, and that's often why you see a reefer leaking water out of the front side. It's running through defrost, cooling off, or warming up that ice to get it off the trailer. Um, anyway, uh, that's all I can show you for right now as far as the carrier units go. Like I said, whenever I get a hold of one of our Thermal King trailers, I'll show you how to run that one because Thermal King controls are slightly different. But not too terrible, so. Anyways, till next time.